Donal O'Kelly's solo show about the Shell Corrib gas project opens at the model in Sligo on Thursday. It's called Alleluia Fanula, and Donal O'Kelly is with me in the studio. Explain that title first of all, Donal. Alleluia Fanula. Well, the Alleluia part comes from um, those over fifty might remember the cartoon character on RT television called Dahi Laka, and Dahi Laka was a little talking duck who used to always cry Alleluia when he was in trouble, like falling into a pond or something. The Fenula comes from Fenula of the Children of Lear, which was the name that Shell gave to their tunnel bowling machine, which is currently drilling under Sruadicon Bay in North Mayo. The play then is in a type of form that you're talking, you're referring to as oral tradition. Explain exactly what you mean by that as opposed to just a straightforward play. Well, I call it live theatre oral tradition because I've, I tell the story as I see it about the Shell Corrib Gas Project and in particular about this, um, the uh, tunnel boring machine, Fanula, um, using, if you like, the techniques that um, I remember from school. When I, when I for, around the time that I was watching Dahi Laka, there was... Um, I remember in Irish poetry, for example, there was uh, one of my favourite poems was called Owen Cor, which was a satirical ode. And then there were poems like Cosme Guiver and uh, Kathleen Hulahan, which were Ashlings. And I remember thinking at the time, why do people speak in code? Why do they use to make these artistic artifices? Why don't they just say what they mean? And over the last couple of years, I've realised uh, quite deeply why those kind of formats exist and why they're there to be used. And that's why I've created this uh, piece called Alleluia Fanula. Why are those forms there? Um, maybe you tell me. I think they're there because uh, they, they're a way for an artist or poet to express things that are difficult to say publicly for various reasons. Let's hear the opening section of the piece. And you say you'll just slip into this as if you're telling me a story. In, in the tradition of the fireside. <laughs> Shh. Dennis? It's me, Ambrose. I'm back. I'm fine. Relax, for God's sake, you look like you've seen a ghost. Walls have ears and ceilings have eyes. But not in here, in our secret office in the Bellinaboy refinery. <laughs> and no one knows we're here. Shh, Dennis. Shh, hell. I've been in it, Dennis. I've been put through what the locals call the Fogin Wara, and I have to tell the story or the curse. Her curse will never lift. Fenula's gas is on me. Gas, not gas. If the gas was on me, it would mean our high-pressure pipe had ruptured and we'd both be atomized by now. But no, happily. Or anyway, no, Dennis, gas, not gas. The gas is on me, and I have to obey. I should have listened to you, Dennis. You said it was a step too far. But what's done is done. The shell tunnel boring machine I called Fanula has sunk into the bog at Glenamoy. The character who's speaking there is called Ambrose, Ambrose Kyo, and he's back, he tells us at the very beginning. Where was he before in your work? Well, in my work, he was uh, the silent minion um, in a play, a solo show I did yonks ago called Bat the Father, Rabbit the Son. And that was all addressed to... Uh, to this character Kyo. Rabbit was a self-made made haulage magnet who addressed the whole uh, this enormous spiel at the hapless underling Kyo. And this is Kyo grown up. And um, he's addressing Dennis at the beginning of this. Who is Dennis? Where are we going to hear from well, him? Well, Dennis is his minion, <laughs> as there always are. And perhaps we will hear of Dennis soon, I'm hoping. Explain to me a little bit then who Ambrose Kyo is and the significance of his name. Ambrose Kyo is a fictional character and he's, in, in fictionally, his, in his previous life, he'd 
he was in this previous play I wrote for example uh, but he's um, at this moment when we come across him he's it's it happens during the few days when this TBM that's the short for tunnel boring machine this TBM Fanula uh, was stuck in the bog at Denamoy Cross it was uh, when the TBM was been brought from Dublin Port up to the site in Ahus which is the uh, will be the landfall site for the Corrib gas pipeline it uh, it got stuck at a crossroads it jackknifed and um, the the lorry carrying the TBM jackknifed and it's that's when this happens it's it's if you like the whole um the occurrences that I describe in Alalu Fanula happen during the time that the Fanula is tilting into the bog would you accept that what you're pointing out is very much one point of view? Yes. When you're writing a piece then like this, do you have a responsibility to give a more rounded set of views? Well, more rounded set of views depends on where you place the fulcrum, if you like, for balance. And in the world we're living in and in the state we're living in, the fulcrum is very often placed very much in the uh, towards the point of view of the holders of power so i have no qualms about saying i why on earth should i try to further uh, to add to the enormous wave of pr that is in favor of the shell carb gas project i don't think that's uh, anything to do with me and i don't feel any obligation to have to uh, put my weight behind the existing what i consider the existing bias how did you go about researching the material for the play? Did you visit the site itself in North Mayo? I've been up and down to North Mayo quite a few times, many times over the last few years. I first went up there not that long ago, maybe 2007, and um, I gradually have got to know the uh, the people in the local communities. And uh, I just found it really shocking. The, the state of um, tension in the whole area is palpable and deeply shocking. When I, I went up there in 2009 to do um, a play called The Cambria, I think I was in here talking to you about it, in fact, shortly beforehand, and The Cambria was a, is a play about the uh, voyage of Frederick Douglass, the um, 19th century African-American anti-slavery leader. He came to Ireland in 1845. It's the story of his voyage on the ship The Cambria. And uh, Frederick Douglass, of course, became great friends with Daniel O'Connell and became um, became one of uh, President Obama's uh, or- oratorical icons. But Frederick Douglass's uh, most uh, famous quote is, power concedes nothing without demand. It never did and it never will. And I try to apply that to me writing all the time. Power doesn't concede anything without a demand. And in that sense... Alalu Fanula I see as my uh, modest demand of the holders of power. Alalu Fanula by Donald O'Kelly will be at the model in Sligo on Thursday. It's then at the Glens Manor Hamilton on Friday and Saturday and on Saturday evening. Cathy Jordan will be performing a newly composed song The Eris Air. The show moves on to NUI Maynooth on Monday the 4th of February. All details on benboproductions.com <laughs>